So, hello. My name is Alexander Borschel. I am a, I guess you could say an inventor. Uh, for the last year and a half, I've been working on a atmospheric water generator, which pulls water from the air. Um, now, I built a functional model, um, but when I visited the United States and Cyprus, I found that it did not work. Now, looking back on it, I realized that a rod where I designed it, uh, it has a, a very, very, uh, let's say, strong elevation as a plateau. And that plateau means that the surrounding desert, when the cloud condensation collects on it, it rises. And then it, it rises to about where the a rod garden was. So while it definitely works, but it requires uh, more finesse, a water producing unit cannot only work with fog. It needs to work in a desert environment, which it, it did, but it was assisted by the condensation from the clouds. So currently what I am uh, looking into is a kind of polymer that when it when it heats it will store energy and then when it hits nighttime it will it will release that energy and that will keep the plant in a constant state of condensation no matter what the temperature is given it's not too extreme my goal for this is is to create these kind of bowls sort of things that are made out of this material with a plant in the middle and it will collect the condensation to the plant and that will allow it to grow. Replicating those on a large scale could in fact, uh, I don't want to say terraform, but it could alter the environment in a way that's beneficial. Because in the Rod Botanical Garden, I did 10,000 square meters and that was by hand with only a few fog nets and the atmospheric water generator. Which I admit, while it worked, it only really worked in the greenhouse. And it was sufficient, but it basically works one per plant. And given the materials were made out of recycled uh, materials that I found around town, uh, it's not the most efficient model. Now, how it made use of the airflow to produce water, very efficient. And I want to thank everybody who took their time to make their own model of it and test it in different locations around the world because it gave me very valuable data about the fact that it only works in a rod or higher elevated places with high humidity. So I really appreciate that because it means that I don't have to go all around the world testing it just to see if it works, which makes me happy. So... What what I'm trying to do now is develop a polymer. It'll take a little bit of time because I'm basically restarting over from scratch using uh, the initial principles. But I do believe it's possible. I think within the next five to ten years, uh, I could produce this, and it not only will be, will be viable, it will be widespread. So. I just want to thank you guys for watching. I don't want you to think that I'm giving up on this project, but it's a difficult project. It, it, it We're talking about free water for half the world's population, potentially.